Hi guys, Arlene here from Hidden in Eden. Today I'm going to do a short tutorial on pinning your hair up when it's quite short. It doesn't come easily, especially if you've not really um, experimented with pinning your hair up at all. As you can see, my hair's still quite short, but I, I pin it up a lot. And I'm going to just give you some tips and tools to be able to do that easily because if your hair looks like mine, I wouldn't be seen caught dead wearing it like this <laughs> out. I need to, I always pin it up or sometimes after I wash it, it looks okay. But today is about three or four days into a wash and this is what it usually looks like. A little bit mullety, just not really what I want, but I'm growing it so I need to let it just grow out. And hence the reason I'm usually pinning it up or just disguising it away so people can't see what it really looks like. Now what you'll need is um, a tail comb. You can get those from a pharmacy or a beautiful supply store. A whole lot of pins, just we call them bobby pins here. And maybe if your hair is quite short, um, a little bit shorter than mine, you can still pin up, but you may need some product, either hairspray or something like this, it's a textures dust, it gives your hair a bit of grit. Or if you don't like using product, you can use a home um, dry shampoo, which is just cornflower, arrowroot flour. And if you were going to use that, I'm, I don't really like using a lot of product, so I'll just put a little bit of cornflour in first, just to give that extra bit of volume and grit. If you've got dark hair, you'll need to brush it through, brush it out, leave it for about 10 minutes and brush it out, otherwise it will leave you looking a bit dull. Hairspray might be better if you've not uh, experimented with dry shampoo before. Okay, now first thing is to do some back combing just to make it easier again. So I just pick up sections. And just come in with the comb and lightly back comb. You may not even need to back comb. I don't usually back comb um, unless I'm going out and I want it to look really nice. Now you might notice, you can see the back, what's happening in the back through that mirror just there. I'm just experimenting with this technique, so see if it works or not. Basically just grabbing big sections and lightly back combing them. Just to give that illusion of volume and also something to hold on to when you put the pins in. Now usually I side part, so I often do my part above the arch of the eyebrow, the opposite eyebrow, and come back and often go on a diagonal towards the middle. And I usually start at the front, just grab, sweep, and secure. Then I come behind the ears, sometimes I twist, just grab it, twist, pull it and secure. If you twist it, you can bring the pin in and down into the twist. If any of the pins um, are feeling like they're tugging, take them out and redo them because they'll just annoy you all day and you'll end up just taking your hair out. If you hear the slightest little, little bit of pull, chances is it's only going to get worse throughout the day. Okay, now. Okay, 
basically I just so there's some bits around here that need to be tapped out so I just grab them loosely twin so that the ends are poking out and chuck a pin in there these are cheap pins I won't buy cheap pins again because they're more hassle than they were Now for me, my hair is getting sort of starting to get longer, so I have some like long floppy bits sometimes, which I don't like. So what I do is I grab them, get two fingers, and just twist them around the two finger, and secure it. And then I've got a smaller bit poking out there, and put a pin where my finger's holding. Basically just feel as I go, so any flat bits, I'll just do that. Now I'm not really liking what this is doing, it's a bit flat for me here, so I'm going to take that out. And then just separate it into smaller bits. I've got my dread bead there, so I like to make that. So this flat bit here, flat bits like that, I just come and back comb them. Or not even, don't really need to put a pin in there. Some loose bits at the bottom, just collected those and I'm just twisting a little bit there and I'll just put a pin in. And then just spruce it up if you've got some hairspray. Um, if you're going out on the town, you probably want to use a bit of hairspray or something because I don't know, just you know, dancing around tends to sweat and everything tends to make it a bit flat and fall out. So if you're going out somewhere where that's a possibility, it's best to just finish it off with a bit of spray. I don't usually bother because I don't really like product, but by all means it will help it to stay. You can basically have that situated high. I've got that quite high today, but often I have it a little bit lower, especially if I wear a headband. I often do that first with my hair, the pins. And then I come in with the headband. And that just gives it an extra little bit of something. And there, I've got my dread bead there. Maybe something a bit fun and nice to go out. Hope you enjoyed the tutorial and good luck.